Well, I think number one is affordability. And this is the mantra of the collaborative, the purpose for its existence. And it's affordability for individuals and families. Um, it's, the, it's affecting take-home pay, it's affecting really all different trade-offs of things that they can have and, uh, and what they can spend on. Affordability for employers, right? It's just, uh, if we want to have a competitive economy, it's this, the labor is huge uh, line item for so many people and it's crowding out other opportunities. And then government, right? Everything we're spending, every time we're spending money on, on healthcare, and if we're not getting more value, then it's, uh, we're not spending on education, we're not spending it on social programs. And, um, and it's tough when you see those prices rise and the outcomes aren't commensurate. And the equity's um, uh, not there too. So I think that's the frustrating part of affordability. Our goal is to really reform the system, but in a way that everyone gets to contribute. So we really have three functions. One called commit to action, so that's getting all of our leaders in healthcare to say, yes, we want to change, we commit to affordability and equity and outcomes, and um, these are our initiatives and we're going to play nice uh, together, uh, to work together. And, uh, second is some alliances, align the community, so some reforms you can only do with everyone at the table at the same time. So we have one on digital interoperability, we just got to work together, and we can be a neutral Switzerland for those types of conversations. And the third we call Accelerate Innovation. And this is great because it's, we're not innovating anything new, it's just promoting, supporting, funding, all the other good ideas. Utah is arguably the most innovative state in healthcare in the country, and, um, but a problem with innovation is often just so siloed. So how do you spread that message and share it and get that into broader adoptions? And because of the leaders of innovators in Utah, we think the, you know, the fire is gonna spread faster. Uh, but we want to be sort of an, an accelerator of that.